am Sarah Winters and I am teach children's literature at Nipissing and also I research children's literature and fan fiction, fan bits. My specific area is children's fantasy after World War II. Uh, the kind of the big series like C.S. Lewis's Narnia books, Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials trilogy and of course Harry Potter. And I'm focusing on representations of and engagements with evil in those books. Well, I think what's great about our department is we have a really great balance of traditional, solid, foundational courses in genres and periods. So uh, 19th century literature, 18th century literature, Renaissance literature, as well as poetry, drama, fiction, and uh, wonderful popular cultural courses. Uh, we have a disaster movies course, uh, cannibalism, riots in the Victorians, it's all great. I te I've taught a course on fanfic and fan bits, which I really enjoyed and would like to offer again. And I think students get a wonderful opportunity to sort of get really educated in a very solid way in the history of English literature, as well as Canadian and American literature, of course, and uh, get these, you know, get a really great vocabulary to talk about what people do in popular culture today. Well, we don't have any labs. <laughs> we actually don't need any equipment apart from a keyboard and a pencil and paper. Uh, most of the time we're thinking about an idea, working it through, finding evidence to support the idea or reshape it or work it, and then turn it into an argument. So I'm trying to say in my research that before World War II, people thought of evil in a, a largely sort of Judeo-Christian theological images, but after World War II, especially starting in the 1960s, they started to imagine it as Nazis and Hitler and Stalin, kind of political and racialized evil.